Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 3 of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. And we are gonna move on to chapter 3. <laughs> Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. <laughs> right. Uh, hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She worry. <laughs> okay, let's go see Tifa. Not long now, honey. <laughs> that is almost <laughs> How does he run so fast for being that big? Is that a bot? I already can't attack it. Okay. Some plate is only half. I've never seen anything like it. Looks like a giant center cleaning up was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? Whoa. What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. Shadows. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. <laughs> You're such a kidder. I don't think Sue is kidding. Where did you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Okay. 
Uh. <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um. Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was when the chaotic. Sorry the for dragging you into shape. all this. It was, it was wrong of me I to put you in danger news. like that. Don't I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Not good at all. I don't know what it is, but my life feels so, so you make empty. nice with everyone? Not just I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. What's going to They'll happen spread whatever to lies Shinra tells them to. So, it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry. I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? <laughs> that one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. A little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, <laughs> then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. You're welcome, Keeper. <laughs> Guess it's time for introductions.
Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? Dog. You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. <laughs> she has such cool hair. Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. My husband decided to go to the Just Back to Seventh Heaven. Another day I can. Everyone's worried they're gonna run out of money soon. Cut. It's a sad day when people care more about what's in their wallet Dang, you can't what's it. happening to the planet. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <sighs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them, because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <laughs> <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Hmm? Go ahead That's and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference there's after. So Barrett's out making his rounds, don't too. As long as I get it all today. Take your time some creepy dude who hit on the chin. All the items you could want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. 
Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud? Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Lightning. Okay, I think I'm done Thanks. shopping. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you can want straight from the He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. I will. Can't help but take a little pleasure in their panic. Apparently, it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. This is Nothing to report. Retaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor. Am I right? That you are. Now. Okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon. We got.
got to do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Huh? Didn't know you were Yay. holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, hey, Me too. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in Gil, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. Okay, let's upgrade weapons. Let's do max HP up first. And then do I have enough of max attack up? Okay. All set? <laughs> Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. <laughs> where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud. I'll come with. No. I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? Lead on. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Yay, Tifa joined the party. We got it Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Start anyway, we should prepare just in case. Who Wedge mentioned? That sword's massive. What does he sell again? If any harm comes to her, here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. And there's our first challenger. <laughs> show me what you got, Cloud. <laughs> Damn it! That's that. Really? Yeah. And that's how we do it. Wow. So that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Yeah! We got this. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, that one's gonna be on the test. This a lesson? Gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up.
Okay, I guess we can't go there right now. Oh, so I am supposed to still be there. If any harm comes to her. Okay. Maybe this way? Yep, here they are. Bingo. Bring it. Get off me! Yeah. All right. I think that might be the last of them. You won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Okay. <laughs> okay, back to Biggs and Wedge. Searching for candidates. I hear you, so Introduce yourself to the other merchants. Get Searching for candidates. Okay, can't talk to him yet. Slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Yes, we are. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. Well, how long now, you two? <laughs> Sorry, Go on. maybe next time. Huh? No fair! Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. <laughs> hey, before I love we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. 
I don't know about that. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters on Scrap? Okay, I think I'll save here for now.